This strategy that I'm going to show you in today's video has been paying me $20 every five minutes. Direct bank transfer, Netteller, Skrill, or PayPal. You can choose what you like. I'm going to show you proof, and I'm going to do this live for you in today's video. Let's not waste any time, and let's get straight into it. What's going on, awesome people of YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you a strategy that I've been using to average $20 every five minutes. I've had over $5,000 days using the strategy. This is going to be something really different that I don't talk about enough on my YouTube channel. We're not going to be doing affiliate marketing. We're not going to be creating landing pages. We're not going to be doing CPA marketing. This is not going to include drop shipping, not creating content on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram reels. This is going to be something very different, which I've been doing full time off of YouTube that I'm going to reveal in today's video so that you can go and get started with this. I've been working at this kind of strategy for well over a year and a half now, still trying to perfect it. And I've gotten further than ever before with the strategy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what I've been doing to make $20 every five minutes. We are going to be using a total of three platforms in today's video. Firstly, you need to come over to this website over here called metatrader4.com and go and download this application completely for free to your mobile device. Device. Whether that's Apple, Android, or Hawaii, go and download this directly to your PC. I'm going to show you how we're going to go and use this later on. Secondly, we're going to come over to a website called tradingview.com. So, as you may have noticed already, today's video, I'm going to show you a strategy that you can go and use to make $20 every five minutes on any market that you want to go and use this on. And thirdly, we're going to come over to this website over here called veracitymarkets.com or any kind of trading broker to trade with a live account and make money on the markets. My preferred broker and the broker that I use is tradingview.com. Really good spreads on indices such as NASDAQ and US 30, zero spreads so we can really tighten up our trades and make as much as possible off of our trades. And thirdly, Thirdly, I'm going to show you the strategy that I've been using with all three of these paired up on tradingview.com, which I can go and view any charts and any markets in the world. The market that I trade the most at the moment is Dow Jones or US 30 and NASDAQ or US Tech 100 over here. So this strategy is actually really simple. It's a combination of institutional order flow and institutional concepts mixed with a scalping strategy that I've developed behind this. So I've been under an entire institutional trading mentorship for the past six months and over that period, I've been working on quite an effective scalping strategy to get anywhere between an 80 and a 95% win rate in some weeks. So to go and get started with this, we're going to be using two indicators and one confluence factor, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Now, the best part about the strategy is you can go and test this at first with a demo account on MetaTrader 4. You can go and create a completely free demo account and go and test this with virtual and non-real money to go and test this for yourself and see if it works for you, which I'm going to log onto the app Nana and show you exactly how this works. So in a nutshell, how I go about the strategy is I will come over to the 15 minute time frame on any market. And you firstly want to go and mark out all the last down moves before an up move and up moves before a down move that hasn't been mitigated known as supply and demand zones that haven't been mitigated. So I'm just going to turn off my indicators over here and let me show you an example. So for example, if we come back over here later earlier this morning at about three o'clock, a, I'm just going to use a rectangle for you guys, a demand zone formed over here. You can see this was the last down move before an up move, which means institutions, banks, and other big financial institutions bought very hard in this market. So sometime in the next day, week, or even sometimes up to years, price has to come and fulfill this demand zone and fulfill price in order to continue its upward movement, or it could break straight through. But this is where we're going to go and use my second indicator later on to go and confirm our entry. And this is exactly what I've been doing to make $20 on the markets every five minutes. So we're going to go and leave this block over open over here. You'll see I've got another one over here. This was the last down move. All these three candles together was the last down move before a big up move that broke structure where price has never come to tap back into. Same with this do entire down move over here. So all of these black candles consist of one big down move before an up move where price hasn't tapped back into it. We're only starting to tap back into it now. So over here, we can start looking for buys. Regarding the last up moves before a down move, Take a look at this example over here. Over here, we have a blue candle 
and then a massive downward movement that broke all of the structure, which left this position over here unmitigated. So over here, big financial institutions sold hard in this market, price will eventually have to come and fulfill this open supply zone to continue its movement downward. So we're going to mark this zone. I usually use a square and draw a line in the middle to mark the 50% of this entire supply zone over here. This entire block over here could count, but on the 15 minute time frame, I would take these two over here because you'll see price traded out of it and never came back into it testing it. So this is unmitigated. This one over here can also counts as an unmitigated supply zone over here you can see at the bottom price never tapped into it over here so we can go and select this as a supply zone and we can go and stretch this out across the market like that so we can leave that for later on and what i'll go and do is i will go and set alerts at my areas of interest for example this one over here and when the market taps into my alert, I will go and look for a confirmation entry, which I go and use these two indicators over here. If you come over to indicators and go and search supply and demand, you want to go and choose the one that says supply and demand multi time frame free by Kapoor Chandra. That is the indicator I use. You'll see when I enable this, you want to go and set this to the five minutes or your chart time frame, and it will load up automatic supply and demand zones for you. But now I don't use these supply and demand zones to trade off of. I use it as an entry confirmation in the supply and demand zones that I've drawn out on my chart. So let me go, for example, and replay this market and give you an idea of how this works. So here you'll see where we are now. Let's come back to the 15 minute time frame and mark out unmitigated supply zones. This is the last up move before a down move. You can see this blue candle over here never tapped into price testing it. So at this area, we can start looking for sales. Let's let price play out and see what kind of demand zones form. Okay, so over here, we now have an unmitigated demand zone that has never been mitigated. You will see it created the last down move before an up move that broke structure and prices never tapped into it. So let's go and have a look if we tap into one of our two areas of interest and see if we can get a confirmation. Okay, so we've now tapped into our supply zone and this is how our confirmation entry criteria will work. If an orange block forms while we're in our area of interest, we take our cells. So take a look at this. Here you'll see no orange block has formed, so we would have missed this entry over here. So let's continue letting price play out and see what happens. Okay, so here we've tapped into our demand zone. And now all we'll do is we'll open up our long position and you want to go and take a one to two risk to reward ratio trade. And at about halfway, we're going to select or set our BE and partials, meaning once we tap into this area at $30,000 uh, $30, price of US 30, we're going to close position one, taking partials and set our second position to break even, making it a risk-free trade. So let's go and have a look and see how this trade plays out. Okay, so we tapped into, okay, so we tapped into TP1 and did we hit TP2? Nope, we're nearly there. And there we go, we went straight to TP2. So that is exactly how my strategy works. And I found at least an 80 to 90% win rate from this. So let's leave this here and document this trade. Let's come back to 15 minute chart. And what I recommend is, is come over to tradingview.com yourself, come over to the 15 minute time frame of any chart, go and add your supply and demand zone multi time frame, and go and back test this on the replayed markets a hundred times and work out a system and a win rate for yourself. So I've worked out at least 80 to 90% win rate ratio. So over here, you'll see again, if we come over to, we're already on the 15 minute time frame. Right now, I see no unmitigated supply zones over here. Uh, you'll see this one over here counts as one, but we've already tapped into price and it's gone straight through it. So there would be no confirmation entry over here. As you can see, there was no yellow block that formed. So that wouldn't have been a trade, but we can keep going and looking higher up over here. We have a last up move before a down move that broke this structure over here, which 
now acts as an unmitigated supply zone. So if I just in, uh, disable this, we can start looking for cells at this area. Or if you have a look here, here are some demand zones that haven't been mitigated. There's another one here. So we can look for buys from these areas over here. Let's have a look at how price plays out. So let's click on play. So we've tapped into this demand zone. Let's wait for our blue block to form. So we've now tapped into our demand zone. We've had our blue block form over here. So now we can go and place our one to two risk to reward ratio like that. Let's let price play out and see where we get to. And we go all the way to TP2 over here. So it's very important that you learn how to mark out which supply and demand zones you should mark out. And you should go and mark out every supply and demand zone on the 15 minute time frame that hasn't been mitigated. And what I mean by that is you'll see over here, if I just go and delete that or move that to the side and I come back to replay this chart from this demand zone here, you'll see this black candle was the last down move before an up move that broke the structural high over here, which price never came back into to fulfill it and retest it until only a while later over here, it actually broke through this one, tested the second one over here. And you'll see over here, we only got our confirmation entry as soon as blue supply zone popped up here. So we actually would have taken the trade from over here. Stop loss below the low and we can take a one to two risk to reward with BE and partials at one to one halfway. So let's go and have a look if we tap into that. And we st we're still in this trade, we just missed stop loss over here, which is pretty good. So that's okay. We're still in this trade. And over here, we went straight. We didn't even tap into B, we went straight to TP2. So we tapped into TP1, nearly came back to BE, but just missed it and went all the way to TP2. So this would have been a TP1 and a TP2 hit. And this was well over 311 to 3186, about 800 per quick scalp over here. So as you can see, it has a really effective win rate. What I'm going to do is I want to go and see if we can actually find some trades live at the moment. Oh, let me just remove all of my drawings come back to 15 minute chart and see where we are. So over here, we have currently an unmitigated demand zone over here. You can see these two candles count as a demand zone. This bottom one doesn't count because if you look closely over here, the market traded out of this demand zone, but on the second one over here, it came back to retest it. So if I come over to like a 30 second time frame, this was the entire demand zone over here. It traded out of it and came back to test it. So if I come back to five minute, all those candles make up these two candles on the 15 minute time frame. So over here, we can start looking for buys. If I had to start looking for sells, there's no real unmitigated supply zones over here. So you'll see there was one here, but the market traded out of it with this week and came back to fulfill it over here. So this would not count as an unmitigated supply zone. So that is how you've got to identify um, which supply and demand zones to go and choose. I wouldn't even count this one as unmitigated because if you have a look here, we have the last up move before a down move. But over here, we traded out of it with this week and it came back up here, passing it testing it over here. So I wouldn't count this as a viable supply zone. Over here, we have a good supply zone, you'll see it's a tiny last up move before a down move, but it never came back to fulfill that price. So we can mark this area over here for a potential sell. Let's just stretch this out and set this to a supply zone. And this one over here also counts as a supply zone. So we can stretch this one out over here. And there's another one over here that I would also count as a bigger supply zone. We can stretch this out and you will see as you go along, more and more supply and demand zones will pop up, giving you a very zebra stripe, a kind of effect on your chart. Now, before you know it, I mean, you can see over here, I've got tons of supply zones over here. How do you know which one to go and trade? That is where your supply and demand zone time frame gives you your confirmation entry. So once you enter a supply zone, 
wait for your confirmation entry with an orange block for a sell or when you're in a demand zone, a blue block for a buy. And you place your one to two risk to reward ratio with your BE and partial set at one to one risk to reward ratio. If you wanna see me take this trade live and see my results from the trade when I get to these areas of interest, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my Instagram link on the screen here somewhere or down below in the description. Go and follow me there and I'll post the results on my story there. You can also DM me if you want more advice on strategies like this. But right now, if I had to wait throughout this video for these prices to get to these areas, it would take some time and this video would be awfully long. But that is also the beauty of trading. It is 80% a waiting game and 20% an execution game. And the biggest secret I've learned to trading is take everything you've learned, whether it's from this video, whether you're being mentored by someone and you need to go and backtest and practice and practice and build a system for yourself and find something that works for you so that you only trade when your system allows you to trade, which starts stops you from forcing trades, from emotionally trading, revenge trading. As I've had days and weeks where I have not had a trade fall into place. You'll see sometimes, especially in, in, in times like, let me come back here, I'll show you a good example. There was a while back where the market was in a very consolidation phase. I think it was over here. I mean, I had a demand zone marked out over here. Uh, which I actually called quite a nice buy here. And I had a big supply zone. I think it was marked somewhere over here. And this entire, this was a period of nearly a week from the 29th of April to the 4th of May, I didn't get a single trade. The market just consolidated and it didn't hit my areas of interest. And you'll see over here, this broke straight through my supply zone. I didn't get a sell, but I think over here, it was about halfway over here, I caught a sell on the way down. And obviously we wouldn't have taken this trade because there would have been no confirmation. And that is why our confirmation is so important because the market can shoot straight through a supply or demand zone over here. Just like this one over here, it shot straight through it um, and there was no confirmation entry. But over here would have been a beautiful buy. If I come and replay this market, I'll show you what I had in mind here. Uh, let me just come over to the five minute time frame. What I do is I mark out all my supply and demand zones on 15 minutes and then trade on the five minutes. Let's enable my supply and demand zones here. Wait for price to tap into my area of interest over here. Uh, let me just disable this. And you'll see over here, we tapped in. I had a blue block pop up over here. I took a one to two. This is a 1.68, a one to two over here with B and partials halfway. And I let this run and we went pretty much straight to TP2 like that. And this trade was a period of about an hour and a half. So again, beautiful trade confirmation in our demand zone with the second blue block popping up over here where we take our one to two trade. So like I said, come over to oh, any market. This works on any market. Go and test it yourself, replay the markets, mark out your areas of interest, use the supply and demand zone on the five minute time frame as your entry confirmation and go and document every single trade that you make. Go and do 200 trades and work out a win rate for yourself. And why I mentioned $20 in five minutes on the title of this video is because the five minute time frame and these five minute scalp trades can easily generate you $20 on any small account over here. When I trade, I trade with a big account. I'll actually post some more results on the screen over here. I've got about $80,000 in my trading account. So I'm able to trade with much bigger lot sizes. So on some trades, I've had up to $6,000 profit. I think my biggest trade of the last two weeks was over $14,000 on one position where I caught a couple of thousand pips on US 30. So in time, as you grow your account, you can scale more and more at this. So soon $20 becomes $100 a day, but to $1,000 a day, to $10,000 a day. But it's super important that you build a system for yourself like I've created over here for myself that I've been practicing and backtesting over the past while. I'm looking at a signal group soon as well. So like I said, go and test this for yourself and see how it goes. But what I'm going to do is to help you out even more. I'm not gonna sell you some crazy $2,000 course. I'm gonna give you everything for free. On the screen over here somewhere, I'm gonna leave my entire trading playlist that I've created on my YouTube channel with my best trading videos in the past 
year or so. And in some of these videos, I actually go and trade live based on what I've taught in the video, actually making profits in front of you, showing you my live account, my broker, some of my past brokers. You'll see a lot of my videos. Um, I use Tickmall. Now I've moved over to Veracity Markets, also just as good. I find them even better. So what I recommend is, is go and click on this playlist over here if you want to learn more about trading, how I trade, and how you can place your positions in the markets and make some solid profits. So go and click on this playlist over here and I'll see you over there.